Now, Q here is the heat flux. It is amount of energy per unit area per unit time. Okay? So by itself, Q equal to heating rate over area. If you take this Q, this Q is found based on temperature profile. So temperature profile can be found from equation of energy or shear bounds. But anyway, that difference in temperature here are calculated based on specific location. As you can see here, temperature is function of location. So difference here are difference at one certain position, right? So that means the Q here that you calculated is local heat transfer. It's calculated locally. So based on that, if you use overall heat flow rate or heating rate here, represented by Newton law of cooling, Q is supposed to be equal to heat transfer coefficient A and A here and A there would gone, right? Times delta T, T0 minus Tb. Since this one is calculated locally, H here is supposed to be local heat transfer coefficient as well. Then you can take Q here up to this point and rearrange. Delta T and delta T here will cancel out, right? Then you can get uh, heat transfer coefficient local supposed to be equal to 48 over 11 K over D. Okay? From heat transfer coefficient, then you can calculate Nusselt number. In this case, Nusselt number is, lo uh, is calculated locally, so that would be Nusselt number local equal to H local D over K. Plug this part back in here, you get 48 over 11. So if you change definition here that you use from local, local um, heat transfer to logarithmic heat transfer, Delta T is supposed to be delta T log mean. You can rearrange, you can get Nusselt number log mean to be another form, right? So this example show you how can we use temperature profile and come up with the correlation that show you Nusselt number. People have done that before. Smart people, of course, has derived this kind of temperature profile for different scenario or different problems and ended up with Nusselt number equation. This kind of equation here will be given in the, uh, in the handout or in the handbook of chemical engineering. So when you use it in unit operation three, you just look it up for this kind of case. You know that if you have vertical pipe flowing and constant heat, heat flux, Nusselt number is 48 over 11. And use that directly for energy balance. Okay? All right, any question? All right, we're almost done with uh, chapter 14. On Friday, we will finish everything.